Dane, you were just telling me you've got, so one of the, the, the big challenges we face as humans today, global warming. You just laid out probably the most in-depth, concise, what seems pretty foolproof to me, uh, four-step plan, your four-step plan in solving yep. global warming Global warming by 20, what was it? By the 2049. year? 2049. 2049. Yeah. Lay it down for me, Dane. The first step is everyone needs to breathe 25% less because humans okay. create emissions as well. So society is naturally just going to slow down a little bit because we're all going to be a little out of it. So we have to just prepare for this new era of a slowed, slightly less intelligent population. Okay. We're going to have to start opening up interpretations of like traffic lights. For example, like is green really go or can we like, is red really stop? You know, like what if I just missed, you like skipped my fourth breath and I'm like blacking out, you know, as I come to the intersection. No, I like that. I like that. So 20, 25% 25% less breaths. Mm-hmm. So every okay. fourth breath, just, yeah, nah. Just, 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 yeah, don't, don't do that. And what, do you have a, uh, I might be getting in the weeds. Do you have a recommend, like, should I just, <laughs> do I just not breathe? I mean, yeah, that's pretty much, it's, that's, you said it pretty straightforward in depth. Just <laughs> don't breathe. <laughs> Right? I mean, I don't know. It's, I mean, fair, it's fair gotta enough. be, okay, it's gotta I mean, be simple, right? Because if it's too complicated, you, people, it's gonna, it's gonna skew adoption. They say, and I know you're a firm believer, firm believer in this. Is really, you have the power. You, the individual, you can help. Absolutely. Fight. Yeah. 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 I, I don't even know if I want to say fight at this time because it sounds like what you're proposing. Again, we've only gone through step one, very promising, but this is the solution. It is. And what, what year again? By by what 2049. year? Twenty forty nine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Step two, laid down for me. So let's just make sure we're all on the same page here with the sort of ramifications that happen with the first step because it's you know a foundational process. It builds upon itself. Okay. okay. So we're taking. We're just saying, yeah, fourth breath. Fuck that. Oh. Mm-hmm. What about, sorry, I, uh, j- uh, real sure, quick, sure. babies. Yep. Babies are going to breathe. Uh, they, no, they, they'll need help. That's where the parents come in because they don't understand. Uh, so give, the, give your baby a helping hand. It's actually, that- it's actually a new sect of getting a degree in medicine is how to stifle breathing of babies. So, safely. Safely and responsibly, yes. We still love them, but you know we gotta we gotta take care of the planet, and they and they they don't they don't know anything. And so. it's a site. I mean, I've seen. I think there, there's actually the technique itself isn't as simple as I'm kind of like mentally picturing it, which is just hand over the face. But the way that you've described it, I looked a little bit over some of the material that you provided. It's it's a hand over the face as a little bit of a a shake. It's oh yeah, a yeah, of a yeah, shake. yeah. The thing too that that that's revolutionary about this is that you can actually stifle future breaths right now, right? It's kind of like a charge up thing. You don't have to do every fourth breath. You could just suck out a lot of breath, and then you're good for the day, you know. So as long as by the end of you know 24 hours, you're at 75 percent breathing. Breathing is the technical term. Uh, breathages taken, then yeah, you're, you're good. So any because okay. that that's when you when, what, yeah. The the technique name for the babies one more time. What was it? What do we? What was it called? I think it, it had a particular name that was actually seemed kind of uh, it was medically ba- yeah baby suffocitis. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Okay. Sorry. Uh, that was, uh, uh, again, let's get back on track here because right. I know we're interested in the next three step, uh, the other steps here. Yeah. So, uh, step one, we were reviewing and we we're getting to step two. Yeah. So let's, again, let's just take the sort of macro view of everything going down people's, you know, blood oxygen content, all people's young, old, all various sizes and colors and shapes. Things are going to slow down. Right. 
So step two, what we start doing is we need to expand our food sources, right? Because we're going to need more energy. We're just going to start eating a lot more things. Does that a uh, question, challenge, maybe problem? I'm thinking that livestock, animals, things like that, eating more things <laughs> is actually going to actually exacerbates the problem. Cows, <laughs> methane, it's actually... <laughs> I know it's a very... Uh, in terms of, we talk about uh, global warming and the different types of gases. They're, they're not all equal, right? So I know methane is a far more potent uh, global warming uh, uh, contributor than, like, than, say, you know, just carbon, right? So methane is actually a problem. So eating more <laughs> means producing producing more, probably having more livestock. So how do you, I think you kind of get the point or the picture I'm painting. How do you counter counteract that? The, what's the issue? I don't see any issue here. Uh, the issue is that we're gonna if we're eating more, we've got to have more livestock. Livestock. Oh, produce, that's like so, cows, yeah. We, we don't. We're we're eating more things. Does it necessarily? It, so we're expanding the boundary of what's edible, right? So we can just start eating shit. Uh, drywall <laughs> on the table or not? Drywall. Yes. In fact, that's a primary source. That was actually a, a paper recently published. I, I read a little. I read a little bit, so I'm cheating a little bit. But um, what about? I'm going to just rapid fire. Uh, cardboard. Cardboard. Yep. Yeah. Dirt. Yep. Scaffolding. Rampant, especially here in New York City. Just you know, eat it. Sh- shingles. Tiles, like uh, like for for. For, yeah, roofing roofs. shingles. I think that's going to be a further like it's like a step three. We got to work our way up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got to start with the basic, like re- really accessible, because then we got people USB, climbing on. Yeah. USB cable. Yeah, only two point oh though. Three point oh, we gotta we gotta wait for. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, not quite there yet yeah, for the three yeah, point. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's step two. So we're breathing less. And eating more, and experts say at this point we've we've made a, a pretty drastic reduction already. But in order, is there a yep. particular? Is this sorry? Is this all at once that we're doing this, or is it gradually? Would we be eating like uh, step one? Are they mutually like inclusive? Only when we complete step one, we go to step two, or are we implementing like simultaneously? Yeah. Step one, I'm going to start breathing twenty five percent less. Step two, like, am I doing them at the same time? <laughs> Excuse me. It's, yes, it's going to be on Christmas. Either day. Christmas Day. Yeah, Christmas Day. Eve will be like the, the warm up. We'll have like to dress rehearsals. Globally, or is this all countries, all participants are required to yeah. get to this uh, yep. the reduction? Yeah, okay. it's everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, oh, and a step step one and two at the same time, simultaneously yep. or yep. separate? Simultaneously. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's Christmas. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So experts say that it's, it's going to cover at least four thirds to nineteen over two percentage of global warming. Squared, yeah, you motherfucker. Squared, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but that's not all of it, of course. Nineteen over two only gets you so far, percentage points wise. So uh, that's step, what they say. Yeah, step three took a long time to develop, right? Because po- forecasting that far in advance uh, gets more difficult. So stay tuned, and we'll discuss step three and four in our next clip.